Hey honey bunches, I hope this video finds you doing spiffingly fabulously. Um, this is a what I ate in a week once again, except it's actually kind of like what I ate in a considerable number of days because I stopped filming one day too soon, trust me. And then the day that I stopped filming, we had fab food, but this was still a great compilation of food. I was finishing uni in this uh, six days that I filmed and then just sort of stopped thinking about being creative in the kitchen and just sort of ate what was around. So this was a Thursday I reckon. That was fruit toast and orange juice for breakfast. Thoroughly delicious stuff. This was leftovers of starch and tofu curry. The recipe is on my blog, on my channel, with some coconut yogurt and on some leftover rice. It's always a very satisfying, hefty um, lunch that gets me through till dinner, which I very much appreciate to just like have a solid uh, five hours of no food. Then my snack of choice recently has been corn cakes with whatever. So this was avocado, lemon juice, salt and pepper. Not really delicious. Would would recommend you get on that bandwagon. And for dinner I was making this uh, teriyaki chicken, except not chicken, vegan uh, tandoori pizza. I already said that. Uh, it turned out wonderfully. I tried to recreate something we used to get like takeout if you're in America or takeaway um, like years and years ago and I used TVP as you saw and um, I had some kale in the fridge so I made some kale chips to go with that. It worked out really well, everyone loved it, it brought them right back and that TVP did a good chicken replacement um, effort. Saturday, as you can see I was having toast for lunch, that's because- for breakfast, wow labels, words, um, that's because the banana, frozen banana supply was non-existent so this was almond butter and jam on one piece of sourdough then cashew cream cheese on the other and some blueberries in a nice little breakfast uh, plate. Some more of that cashew cream cheese on a corn cake lunch and then uh, for a snack. Wow, I'm probably not even saying anything right so far. Um, and then lentil sausage rolls and a simple salad of evo, red, onion, spinach and tomato sauce and mayo was for lunch. Uh, these are some cookies that I was testing for the next HBOT journal. That pizza the last previous night was also for the next HBOT journal. It's gonna have two fabulous recipes because they both turned out super super delicious. More snacks of that usual thing. Then I forgot to film dinner but it was essentially two avocado and cucumber rolls um, and even though that picture has a nari in it, I didn't have a nari. I just had another one of those cookies at a friend's place. Uh, the next day, which was Sunday, it was really cold, even though it's meant to be spring. The weather's all over the place at the moment. I made some porridge and a cup of tea with flax. Um, this isn't the porridge. Raspberries, coconut sugar. Um, there's probably some chocolate protein powder in the porridge for some nice malty uh, flavour. Um, then it was going to be a birthday dinner for my... Uh, grandma so I was making food the whole day I ate some like that was leftover orange from the orange cake I was making I was making this balsamic beet galette and from which book is that um, but my family could never go vegan I made this dip that I'll put in, in that ebook that I'm putting together um, and then for before so I was gonna make some sticky maple glaze sausage which will also go in that ebook I'm talking about. So I made the sausage recipe from um, It's Always Beautiful. And for lunch I had more of that leftover curry and we didn't have any rice on hand so I just kind of toasted a wrap in the toaster and these have really good ingredients in them. Um, so yeah, pretty simple, delicious filling lunch. This whole day was like me chilling out post finishing the uni semester before studying and making a lot of food. This is the salad we had and had like an orangey citrusy dressing and lots of fab fruit and pine nuts and avocado in it. That's the galette. We also had roast potatoes and roasted brussels sprouts with this delicious spread of food and that's what the dip looked like. Um, it was like a coriander Thai sweet chili 
dip um this montage is so out of order those were like a rosemary potato and brussels sprouts and this dip's really really good it could be a sandwich spread and look at those sizzling vegan sausage chunks my meat loving um grandfather was quite a fan got his toothpick ready when i handed them around the galette got a little bit too brown but it had like nut cheese on the bottom and then delicious beetroot and pumpkin layers of balsamic wonderfulness there's a salad of strawberries pine nuts already said that probably yeah i have and those crispy dang potatoes and brussels sprout that's my plate um i was very satisfied and then this is the cake which had a cashew frosting it was an orange polenta cake with a super duper good uh uh, what's it called? Icing. Um, I'll try and make a nice polenta cake because it was so moist, so gluten free, so vegan, so uh, delicious. This was like a blueberry berry smoothie on Monday when our bananas had ripened and a smoothie had beckoned. As usual, the smoothie went down pretty well. Then I was hopping in to study. Yippee, flashcards. Um, so I took a cup of tea upstairs i was also recipe testing this uh what are they buckwheat blueberry pancakes with a caramel drizzle thing um that'll be in the ebook definitely look how like fluffy and hot cake like they are they were so good i was so happy with this and they cook really evenly like there's no stodgy center they rise up a whole heck they taste really good i like the top pancake and my dad had a bit of that. Um, then for lunch, it was just sort of leftovers. Nothing too uh, fancy schmancy. More of that salad while the galette was heating up. And I just had that on a plate. Didn't film me eating it because it's just that same old galette. Then I had another piece of that cake. I mean, look at that side angle. Heck, so good. Um... Yeah, maybe a lemon polenta cake would be good. Then Monday, I was still feeling motivated to do more recipe thing testing, so I tried out this super duper simple, like enchilada type um, recipe idea by putting them in wraps, I don't know, but they tasted super good. They crisped up amazingly, and it was like sort of a one pot dish. Um, that will also be in the ebook and we just had it with more of that leftover dip from the dinner we had look at them look how crunchy they're sort of tequito y but obviously not because it's a wheat wrap rather than a corn wrap and that that guacamole went pretty well i was pretty happy with my pairing choice um the next day i juice some more oranges these are organic oranges just because like that's one of the few organic fruits that is actually affordable um, at a major supermarket, uh, had some more toast, um, probably because it was cold and I felt like it, and that was almond butter and like a dark berry raspberry jam, I'm not sure what exactly the berry is, just from the farmer's market. Had some sourdough toast, so put it all on there, and Harvey sure wanted a piece. Uh, for morning tea, I had more of those corn cakes with that cashew cheese. It's just too good and it satisfies me no end. Actually sort of keeps you full. Um, more of that gullet. I mean, it just uh, was too good. And I had one of those sausages in the fridge left over. So um, my bro and I sort of glazed them up again and had them. <laughs> that doesn't look weird at all, does it? Um, with spinach and avocado salad. And this sort of way of glazing the vegan sausages makes them a bit more moist. Just chuck in another weird word. For dinner, I made a video about massacred vegan squid for a Halloween type thing. I'll link that above and in the description below if you're interested. And we're on to the next day already. Woohoo! Um, this was a green smoothie type thing. That little green thing blob is spirulina. Otherwise, it was like dates, on butter, spinach, bananas, protein powder. Um, coconut nectar that's about it um morning tea more of the same standard old corn cake coming to the rescue and yep pretty cool stuff i also snacked on some of this love crunch 
uh, dark chocolate coconut granola. I put in an iHerb order. You'll see like a little haul type video later on. All that incorporated. That was very delicious. Had a cup of tea while I was studying and then we got salad sandwiches for lunch. Which had like carrot, cucumber, beetroot, lettuce, avocado, uh, tomato, red onion. And I can't remember what I said now. I uh, had some more of that granola for afternoon tea. And then for dinner I made pesto cauliflower. Uh, wings. This is a recipe that is definitely gonna be in the ebook because it's the best uh, stinking cauliflower wings I've ever had. I've got parmesan, uh, vegan parmesan in them and I paired them paired them with this like lemony um, dill aioli type thing. We have them in crunchy lettuce cups. Look at that beautiful ombre lettuce mound. Um, you do them in the oven. They get very crispy, crispier than you'd think. And heck, look at them. Oh, these little boats, they're so good. I really can't wait for you to try this recipe because oh, cauliflower can taste that good. Uh, I think we're on to the next day. And it was just a usual green smoothie this time. Uh, same as the other day, gripping stuff. My snack was while I was boiling up some uh, brown rice for lunch because I thought, you know, health. I uh, had some more corn cakes, hummus, uh, carrot sticks, and I had some more of that granola. Um, lunch was kind of a scoop up everything in the fridge, either roast it, boil it, or sprinkle it with nutritional yeast, and I sort of chucked it together in some sort of uh, salad or rice dish concoction, but it was warm, but then it had mint in it, so really wasn't one of my best efforts but look I had brown rice in it that's always a nice thing ain't it um, and I was trying some of this nudie mango and passion fruit yogurt it's a new one it was good but the nudie coconut yogurt brand isn't my fave because they water it down so much it's not so creamy Then I had a pineapple and mint kombucha before dinner um, and I had a ridiculously lazy I know what the heck am I doing uh, dal concoction uh, which you can find in like the ethnic -y aisle of most supermarkets it's definitely not the best dal you'll ever try but brown rice salt and pepper a bit of coconut yogurt if you have it look it's not too shabby and tastes pretty good and that's the last thing I filmed so thank you so much for watching Honey Bunch um, if you watched the end, you're a wonderfully lovely person, and I don't know what you say in my content, but lots of hugs and vegan foods being sent your way. Um, if you haven't checked out my HBOT journals, they're full of refined, lovely content that's probably better than my videos, definitely. Um, they're very cheap and super groovy, and I'm working on a new one, so get reading if you are um, behind. Anyway, uh, I'll see you in the next coming up videos, Honey Bunches, as usual. You can expect two per week, even though I'm sort of crazy studying for exams. Um, but yeah, it should be business as usual. But maybe just give me a little bit more time and don't expect such high quality. But you're lovely, so thanks for watching, Honey Bunches. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!